What is up, everybody? Jason here with Jaspies. We just sold out. 2023 Contenders Football Hobby Six Box Half Case Break POIT number 13, guys. It is from a fresh case, and we just posted up the second half number 14. If you guys want to grab teams there already. But here we go, guys. Steve got the Colts last spot mojo. And everybody else bought in straight up as well there. So we have this case here, guys. Possibly have another one. That's if we sell it out. By tomorrow, maybe. Because I can't guarantee that. I'll still be there past tomorrow. All right, one, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. And it's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be for numbers 14. All right, here we go, guys. Our first auto we got is a Josh Van. Drew Sanders. Week 18, Darius Davis. That's going to go to the Chargers and Timothy. And a Jonathan Mingo to 149 for the Carolina Panthers. Going to Sportport. CD Lamb to 199. M stole my Mexican superstar that I was hoping to be here in LA, Chad. So F them. That's what I think about them. And Nesta J to 99 stub. For the Raiders. Raiders deep order. Alright. Uh, well, they were linked to him, but I think more of the Latino fans here in LA wanted Randy more than anything. He would have fit in so well here in LA. But, I mean, it is what it is. I seen, you know, it's funny, Chad, is that. He was at the Rays game in attendance, like, in the stands with his, like, wife and kid. Isn't he supposed to be with the Mariners already? They said he has 72 hours to report, but he's just like, what, is he going to take all 72 hours? <laughs> so now, more than anything, uh, did you see that Randy went to the Mariners last yeah, night? I saw that. It's Chad broke, won't be happy. Broke though. my heart. Chad, Chad was like, doesn't matter who we get, the team's still going to suck. Yeah, well. So. He's probably going to not hit well over there anyways. Yeah, he's probably not. So, he's not. He's probably not happy going to Seattle. <laughs> He'd rather come to LA. Um, but um, I was gonna say, uh, 
I think now the Dodgers, if they're going to get anybody now, it's probably like Louis Robert or somebody. Garrett Crochet. Yeah, yeah, there's like a package deal, maybe. Josh Pham. Well, no, but you just you you say that players that go to the Mariners just just die. <laughs> so it's like it's like Randy's just not gonna do well with you guys. And if you guys are not gonna make the playoffs, what's the point of getting them for? Yeah, what's the point? Josh Allen, two or three more bats or something like that. It's kind of pointless. Just License get, to dominate. Just get one, and then you're only like halfway there. Last one there. It's a little case hit there. One of the Bills, William. Go get Vlad Guerrero Jr. Yeah, I know. Is he a free agent in a year or so? Yeah. He is, so. right? And 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 he's not re-signing there, right? So I, I, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are saying that he's going to get paid somewhere else big money. I mean, I, if the Blue Jays were better, maybe... He would stay, yeah, maybe yeah. Maybe they'd be like, all right, yeah, let's Gilari. give everyone extensions, let's, give, let's uh-huh. get everyone paid, and let's go win some World Series. But, yeah... The Blue Jays have kind of tried. Well, yeah, remember they made they it got, like to the. They got Usai Kikuchi. They got they made the trade for Jose Barrios. They they got Kevin Gossman. And Jaron Hall. Deal, and they're just it's a little disappointing because it's not like they weren't trying. You know, they they try to get guys. It just kind of sucks because they're like. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey. It just hasn't really clicked. You know. No, I know. I mean, if Randy turns out to be great, yeah, you got him pretty much for nothing. And he, he doesn't cost a lot of money right now anyways. He has that, like, massive, like, deal that those, like, international players sign sign their life away, you know what I mean? Like, I, I go look at Ronald Acuna Jr.'s freaking contract and tell me if that's any, any fair. Those, those international contracts that they make these guys sign when they come into the league is, like, ridiculous. Seven years, eight years, ten years for like ten million dollars. <laughs> it's like stupid, dude. Like, yeah, they're getting a hundred million dollars, but they're stuck there for like ten years. It's kind of messed up, to be honest. Alright, next boxer, guys. And Tajay Spears. Nice one at 149. Yeah, but wouldn't you want to be like... Wouldn't you want to sign a smaller deal? And I mean, look, I get it. You're, you, you might not even last that long, you know? You might not even, you know, play well enough to even get a next contract, but... I mean, they go look at what, like, Shohei Otani is going to be making and go, or what he makes and go look at other players that make, like, three, four times what you make. And, I don't know, I just feel like it's, it's kind of messed up. Those guys get, those international guys like that get stuck signing, like, these long-term deals. And, like, these teams have them for, like, the, all of the prime of their career. Playoff ticket. Kobe Turner. But yeah, I mean, I get it. These guys are probably going back home. Uh, they're 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 billionaires, probably. You know, going back to Cuba, the DR. You know, you know all these other places. But still, it's just I don't know. I just feel like it's messed up, man. I feel like what what is the what does the MLB do to like allow these contracts to happen to these like international players that are coming from like you know those countries like that? Tyler Lacey. Why don't they make the Americans have contracts like that? You know. I'm not seeing no American be signing a contract like that. Then we got Jalen Brooks. To 50. Cody Match for the Bucks. But yeah, anyway. It's my little rant for that. And a cracked ice. How about a kicker cracked ice, baby? 
Brad Robbins. Of course, but we're not talking me and you, Chad. I mean, I'm talking about comparison to one MLB player to another. You know what I mean? To 23. I guess it's just more like I think the MLB owners and people that... I mean, I don't know. Maybe they have bad agents, but again, I get it. They're getting them out of a situation where they probably not they thought they would never get out of. And like I'm just looking, I'm just using like Acuna's for instance, right? I mean, go even look at Julio's. How much did you guys pay him? I'm pretty sure it's a bargain of a deal, especially if he kills it in his prime years. But you know what I mean? Like, it's like all of those. Like I get it. They're just offering you 100 million. And you're just like, bro, that's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, it's a lot. But I guess it's just more like. I wish uh, they would have protect him a little bit more and be like, hey, you know what? That sounds great and all, but like. You know, we should be requesting a little bit more and maybe shorter time or, you know, like, so that way you can get another contract, et cetera, et cetera, you know? Where I feel like it's a little different when it's like those non international. Benton. But yeah, I'm sure they're grateful. They're like, hell yeah, doing $100 million from where I came from? Sheesh. But. I guess I guess I, I would, what I'm saying is that I wouldn't be signing a contract like that. I'd risk it for the biscuit. Cody Match to 99. I'd sign like half the contract. You know, three four year deal for like 30 40. And hey, that's still more than enough money than I need. But you know, I'm I'm gonna bet on myself that when I get to three year three and four, I'm worth. Three, four times that. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's just like the players that they play out of high school. Right? Isaiah Bolden. It's the same thing. I mean, they dish out million-dollar contracts for a player in high school that never really makes the league. I, I, I get it. But I'm just saying, I guess there's less protection for those international players. Or either that or the agents are just like, hell yeah, bro, I'm going to get... I'm going to make some money if you make money, so I'm cool. Yeah, so 209 for tw 12 years, right? What is the math on average per year? Now, he probably got most of that guaranteed, I assume. Or baseball is all guaranteed, right? You get what I'm saying? 12 for 209? Now, obviously, him and him and Otani are not in the same realm. But Otani got 10 for 700. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Or whatever his contract was, right? And then you go look at other players' contracts. Another cracked ice. This time it's a veteran ticket cracked ice. The twenty three, Calvin Austin. Like, what are other players in his position making? You know. Nice one there for the Steelers, though, Nate. That's what I'm kind of saying. Like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm sure Julio's like, hell yeah, two oh nine, baby, which is a lot more than he'll ever need, right? I mean, at least I hope so. Or go look at Acuna's, right? I, I forget what Acuna's is. Acuna's is wild though. I mean, granted, he's been injured twice already, so, I mean. So, I mean, obviously. Unfortunate, but when he's healthy, he's healthy. Yeah, Julio got, you said Julio got 12 for 209? Acuna's contract is an eight-year deal for $100 million. Now, all of it's guaranteed and all, but still. And... He only makes twelve point five million dollars a year. That's nuts. Adam Thielen to fifty. Kobe Turner. Yeah, I think has has more more incentives in the backlog, right? If he like, if he does well. Wins this, wins that, probably hits the certain stats. Then I'm sure he probably gets paid more. So I remember, I remember hearing about that. His has like a, a up two, but pretty much is this. All right, two more boxes, guys. So actually.
Um, I uh, I just seen this article from the MLB before the season started this year. It says Ronald Acuna Jr. expresses a desire for a new Braves contract within the five year uh, within the five years of team control remaining on the deal. So yeah, Acuna only turned 26 in December and thanks to his eight-year contract extension, uh, contract extension million dollars they signed in 2019, he's only getting around 17 million per year from 24 to 26. And then assuming he gets picked up, the Braves will pay him 85 million for his ages 26 to 30. Bargain. <laughs> that's literally what the that's literally what the article said. Tyon Evans. That's what I'm saying, Josh. That's what I mean. But the Braves realistically don't have to, don't have to pay him. You know, he signed the contract, right? I mean, you would think they'd want to take care of him for what he's done and stuff, right? But I mean, realistically, I mean, the owners don't have to do anything. They could be like, "Sorry, dude, you signed your name to that pen and paper." But I don't think they would do that. But that's exactly what I mean, though. Gary Williams. I know. That's the crazy part. They want without him. Hell, what if they'd gone a crazy run they win again without him? I'll be wild. And Derek Parrish. Playoff. And we got a cracked ice there to 25. Jackson Smith and the Jigba. And we got the uh, CJ Strout there. But yeah, Chad, do you, do you think Julio will actually win two MVPs in his lifetime? Davis Allen. Because I feel like he's great, but he's kind of inconsistent though, right? Davis Allen. All right, there we got CJ Stroud. And, and our second Jaron Hall. Well, that's a nice one, though, to 149. Looking for a different quarterback. Uh, that's going to go to the uh, Vikings and Douglas. Douglas is happy, though. Couple more CJ, three CJ Strouds in here. And how about this? Very nice, Bryce Young playoff ticket to one ninety nine. That's nice. Uh, Sportport with the Panthers. We'll love us. Oh man. One of the more regulars. Alright, well, we'll grab top loaders at the end of this. Alright, last box here, guys. Evans, and then we got a Brandon Aubrey. It's our second kicker autograph here. They actually gave him some protection. I think he could, but Mariners won't do so somehow. Then we got a Jade Silvera. We got Josh Wiley. We 
got a Carrington Valentine. Puka Nakuaha. Alright, two more, so looking for the RPS here. And a Michael Mayer. That is not an RPS, but a very nice Week 18 sticker, though. Veteran ticket there for the Raiders. Deep Porter, that is awesome. That's a 18 of 18. Little eBay one of one, too. All right, this should be your on par. And it's a redemption, too. This could be actually a really good box. It's a good rookie. It should be, for the most part. Most of the rookies that didn't sign are pretty good. Rookie variation divisional ticket. So that's what, out of 75? Puka Nakua. There you go. Joshua Rojas with the Rams. Nice box. That Mayor Week 18 and the Puka. That's sick. That would have been a great personal box. There you go. So I'll top load these autographs, obviously. I, I ran out of top loaders here with me. Uh, but nice. That's a little bonus auto, too. You know what's crazy? I, I pulled a Puka stub, at, I think, here on release day, right? Was it here? If not, it was on Instagram. I pulled a second Puka stub yesterday on Fanatics Live. So I've done, I pulled two of the 17 stubs already. That was cool. Alright, so we got Jaron Hall, RPS there. We got a Cracked Ice Calvin, uh, Calvin Austin, veteran ticket, Cracked Ice. Um, we did get a kicker Cracked Ice, Brad Robbins for the Bengals. And of course, Tajay Spears to 149, Jaron Hall, RPS there. License to Dominate. Stub, Jonathan Mingo, Week 18, Darius Davis. This was a nice half. You know, no bigger, like, quarterback or whatnot, receiver-wise, besides the Puka. I mean, you know, Mingo's pretty okay. I mean, it's okay. Tajay Spears is awesome, too. He'll have a little bit bigger role with uh, in sharing the backfield now with um, Tony Pollard. But a nice little half, though. I feel like a lot better than most halves. So, again, the second half is in the store, guys. Still could be a big quarterback. Uh, bigger receivers, you know, Bijan for the Falcons, etc. You know, you never know. So, obviously, I guess I get the next one going, guys. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.